come here tonight and plead with you. Believe in yourself and believe that you're somebody. And as I said to a group last night, nobody else can do this for us. No document can do this for us. No Lincolnian Emancipation Proclamation can do this for us. No Kennesonian or Johnsonian Civil Rights Bill can do this for us. If the Negro is to be free, he must move down into the inner resources of his own soul and sign with a pen and ink of self-assertive manhood. If I ain't dressed in a suit, if I ain't got a doctor in front of my name, if I don't got some type of religious headgear on, don't mean you shouldn't listen. It ain't about the messenger, it's about the message. Black is not a color. If you, if your man put out a new mixtape and he posts about it on Instagram and you put the fire emoji underneath it, it does not mean that that emoji is actual fire, right? Cool, cause it's not. If I'm ever in a position to look at something that does, that does not reflect any light. I can try to recreate that on paper using different hues of blue or brown or sometimes even green. And I could call it black, but it don't make it black. Another reason, a color is something that reflects light. Black does not reflect any light. Black absorbs all light. Now remember that. Remember, even if black was a color though, you don't know any people that are black. You don't even know any people that are the made up version of the color black. So when it comes to color, you shouldn't call yourself black because you're not black. Okay, so it's not about an actual color, it's about a figurative meaning of the word black. Cool. Black magic, black hearted, black eyed, Black hole, black cloud. Which one of those means something good? Okay, so we know historically, historically, don't mean nothing good. Okay, so let's put your spin on it. Oh, before there were any lights, the universe was void of everything, and when it was like that, it was black, and we birthed light out of that blackness. My main argument right there would be, was light birthed out of darkness or was light birthed despite the darkness? You ain't black. But let's go with it. Let's, let's, let's say you right. Before there was light, there was nothing. By all accounts, even, even yours. So even if what y'all say was true, the only time that blackness mattered was never, literally. Black represents the unseen. Metaphorically, the unheard, those who don't matter those who bear the burden. Now remember the color black. What does it do? It absorbs everything. Not just the sun, everything. What race of people does that sound like? Y'all say words have power. Words are spells, words are curses. Are you cursing yourself when you call yourself black? Google all people who've been called black, whether they was called black as a race or whether it was more of a social thing. Google that. Just find what black means something positive besides something you grew up hearing so you just 
went with it. And you said that it's positive. But by all other accounts, there's nothing good about it. It represents the unknown, the unseen, the unheard, the unimportant, dead, darkness, death. When children are scared of the dark, it's not because they can't see. Because if you turn off the lights, your eyes still work, you can see. Most kids are perfectly fine playing, but they playing games with their eyes closed, playing games with blindfolds, things like that don't bother them. But a room with no light bothers a kid. Kids are more intuitive than adults. They're scared of the dark room because blackness is death. And it's not that they can't see, it's that they see black. It promises death or punishment in some type of way. So then the question becomes, okay, but what should we call ourselves? Well, calling yourself something that you know is cursed for convenience is not a good idea. If you don't call if you don't curse yourself for this long, you can call yourself anything as a placeholder until you figure out something that you want to call yourself. So calling yourself black out of convenience. Don't do that. We living in a world where somebody can be born as one gender and decide to change their gender one day, whenever they feel like. So don't act like I'm outrageous and saying this. You can call yourself white. White, you could also say it's not a color, but it's a shade of color. The shade is what is reflected back to us when nothing is held back. So now, now, now Google people being called white throughout history. White is beautiful. You can't claim to be a light being, a light worker, a child of light, a Christian, because Christians worship the light of the world. You can't be any of that and not recognize what I'm saying to be true. You know it's true already. You gotta acknowledge what it is. Don't claim to be a light worker, pretending that that's some type of positive thing. When you literally describe yourself with a negative term, and I mean literally negative, it absorbs. One thing a mind can't do is go in two directions at the same time. Don't serve two masters. You pick lightness or you pick darkness. But you can't have it both ways. You'll be confused like the rest of these woke people out here. Live life, man. Think sometimes. But never know. We, we say we love each other but all we do is go against each other and hurt each other. We don't stick together. So I'm gonna continue to be who I am and do what I do. And I'm gonna continue to get people jobs. And I'm gonna continue to be the best at whatever, I, whatever comes my way.
That's how I live my life. I'm going to be who I am. I don't give a fuck who don't like it.